Hello again, everyone. My name is Kyle with Coachman Class B's. Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about the Coachman Beyond. This is a 2022 model year. Uh, in particular, this is the 22C floor plan. Uh, we do make three different floor plans of the Beyond, the 22C, the 22D, and the 22RB. So all of them are gonna be built on the Ford Transit chassis. Um, this is the largest, heaviest duty transit that Ford makes. So it's gonna be um, your extended uh, high roof van, uh, 350 series, so uh, the biggest, heaviest weight one that's out there. Um, it's equipped with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. It's gonna be a gas engine, uses just your standard gasoline uh, available pretty much at any gas station across North America. Um, again, 3.5 liter, 400 pound feet of torque. Really, really great gas mileage on this too. So this is gonna average in the mid to upper teens uh, as far as your mileage per gallon. Um, the Beyonds are available in either a silver, which is what this chassis is, brilliant silver, um, or an Oxford white, which is a really nice white chassis. Um, new for this generation, the new chassis, they now come standard directly with full, from Ford with all aluminum wheels all the way around. Um, these are very, very nice wheels, super lightweight, which helps with your fuel economy and really, really easy to care for. So moving our way down, um, you'll notice a really nice full length carefree awning that runs all the way down the, the length of the coach. Um, this is gonna be an armless awning, so you won't have any arms coming down, um, getting into the middle of your campsite. It also has an integrated LED light, as well as um, a uh, integrated seismic sensor. So I'll bring it out here in just a second. So it's this one button, brings it all the way out. You can let it fully extend out there. Really, really nice, it covers a great size area. Um, or you can stop it by hitting the retract button um, at anywhere in between, um, or just hit the retract button again, and that's gonna bring it, bring it all the way back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here. And then just like that, comes all the way back in. One of the really nice features with this awning has an integrated LED strip that runs the full length of it. Really, really nice day here in November here in Middlebury, so you can't really see the LED lights when we turn them on in the bright sun. Um, but it's gonna be right here in the extended area of it. So that way it lights up your campsite really, really nice. Another neat feature is if you come around here, you'll see this little black box that's hanging on the rear side of the awning. Um, a lot of people refer to those as a wind sensor. Um, I, I, I hate to use that verbiage with it wind. It doesn't actually detect the wind. It's more of a seismic sensor. Uh, it detects the motion that the wind would cause. So say you have your awning out and the wind picks up and starts to get your awning moving. Um, it's gonna sense that motion and then automatically bring your awning in. Um, with that though, you obviously need to, uh, you know, kind of use your best judgment with that. If it's a gusty day, um, keep in mind, it takes a, you know, a, a little bit for the awning to come in. So if there's a big gust of wind, it could potentially, you know, rip your awning off as it's coming back in. So if it's a gusty day, you may wanna just keep the awning in, but this is a really nice uh, feature. If it's just a little bit of a breezy day, it starts to pick up. That way you don't have to worry about it and it'll automatically bring itself in. So working our way down the side of the coach, this right here is gonna be the exhaust for your Truma Combi. Um, your Truma Combi is the combination of your furnace and your hot water heater. Very, very desirable. It's used in most class B vans across North America uh, for a few reasons. Um, one being it's, it, it, it takes up a minimal amount of real estate on the inside of the van. Obviously, space is a premium uh, in vans since there's not much of it. So to have a combination of one unit that is both your furnace and your hot water heater is very, very desirable. And then furthermore, it allows you to not have as many cutouts on the side of the van. So you may be familiar, you've seen other vehicles that have big square grates on the side of the coach. Those are gonna be the, the service ports and the exhaust for the, the, the furnace and then the separate hot water heaters. So not only is that taking up much more space on the inside of the coach, but aesthetically on the outside of the coach, uh, it takes away from the nice clean look of just having a, a, a nice stealthy van. Um, furthermore too, um, a lot of those separate furnace and hot water heaters, those exhausts on the side of the coaches, get really, really hot to the touch. So, you know, as far as the safety aspect goes, you know, if you were to touch it, you can potentially burn yourself. Um, and then also too, as far as efficiency, the whole idea of a furnace or hot water heater is to, to generate heat, to, to heat that water or to heat the inside of the coach. On the exhaust side of it, if there's heat coming off of that, that's just a 
uh, a straight sign of inefficiency. You're basically use it, utilizing your, your energy, whether that be in the form of uh, liquid propane or electricity, you're using that energy and in essence, just heating the outside. So that's really the benefit of the Truma is the Truma, uh, Truma claims over 90% efficiency. So this is the one small vent for both your furnace and your hot water heater, so a much cleaner look. And then secondly, it's never gonna get so hot to the uh, to the touch that it's gonna burn you. You'll be able to tell that it's on, but like I said, it's over 90% efficient, so you're not wasting a lot of your energy or a lot of your resources like liquid propane by heating up the outside. So very, very nice feature on here. Truma, very high quality stuff, made in Germany. Uh, can't say enough good things about those guys. Um, also out here is gonna be a 110 outlet. Very straightforward. Um, if you wanna utilize this outlet, um, you either need to be plugged into shore power in a lithium coat, you just simply have your inverter on to utilize any of the 110 outlets or anything else that runs off of 110. Um, or in a generator coach, um, you can either turn your inverter on or just have your generator running and uh, be able to plug in any blenders or a television. Um, or anything else that you wanted to use outside that requires electricity. Um, another thing too that I wanna show in here, I'm gonna close this door real quick and highlight it. This is one of the things that sets Coachman vans apart. And this applies to, to all of our B vans, not just the Beyond. It also includes our Nova and our Galleria, is all vehicles have a big wheel well. In essence, what a wheel well is, is it's the area where the rear wheels are. And kind of think of it like a big metal drum. Anything as you're driving down the road that happens at this wheel um, kind of just amplifies in here. And that uh, contributes to a lot of the road noise that people have uh, or that they experience when driving vans or just vehicles in general down the road. So most manufacturers that are out there, uh, unfortunately for a multitude of reasons, really do nothing to, to try to mitigate or help um, get rid of that sound. Um, that's really one of the major contributors uh, of, of all of the noise that happened inside of the van is this everything just kind of amplifies and bounces around in that wheel well. And then that's, that's what you hear on the inside. So what we actually do is we use what's called hush mat. Um, hush mat, it's also referred to as dynamat in the, like the, the car audio industry. It's a really thick, kind of a think of a thick tar and foil sticker. And that's actually one of the very first things that we do when we build one of the Beyonds is when it's just a raw chassis, just like how it comes from Ford, it's completely metal and is open on the inside, including the wheel wells on the interior. So what we do is we line the entire wheel well on the interior of the van with hush mat. Hush mat is a very heavy sound deadening material, about a one inch by one inch square piece of that. Um, if you place it on a drum cymbal or a bell it would actually take away its ring. So you just hear a drumstick hit the cymbal. Um, so what it does is it absorbs all vibration and vibration is basically what creates sound. So uh, if you get rid of the vibration, you get rid of the sound. So um, that's what we do on each of the wheel wells. Now, the reason, frankly, why most manufacturers really do nothing about it is once the coach is all built out on the inside and you have these pretty cabinets and walls in there, um, the, the, the end consumer really doesn't, you know, you can't see it, you can't touch it, you can't feel it. So it's, you know, if you, if you don't know it's there, you never think to ask or you don't know it's an issue. But if you take a drive in any of the competitive, uh, competing vans, you'll notice a, a, a very different, you know, sound level versus driving a coachman. Coachmans are very, very quiet going down the road. And a big factor is because of that hush mat. You know, you have uh, another one of our manufacturers out there. There's only one other guy that does anything to do uh, uh, to help against that sound. Um, and those guys actually just take some carpet that's, uh, you know, cut and stitched to kind of fit like a, you know, nice custom glove over each wheel well, which is good. Um, you know, what that's going to do is basically muffle that sound. Um, you know, which is, which is helping, but ideally you want to get rid of all of that sound. And the, the, the way to do that is to get rid of all of the vibration creating it. So this is kind of this one step above doing carpet over there. Um, and, and the reason why the other guys don't do it is you can't see it. So it's a good way for them to save on some margin. Um, we just believe in doing things right. And that really does contribute to a quieter ride going down the road. So again, that's hush mat and that's on all of the coachman class B vans. So coming further around, um, one thing to point out too, this is a magnet. So when you have the doors fully articulated open, uh, it allows the back door to attach here. So a gust of wind won't blow it closed on you. Um, so that's just a magnet right there. Um, coming on down here to the back of the coach, this beyond is equipped with an optional bike rack. 
The bike rack is going to be optional on obviously the Beyond, but as well as the Coachman Nova product line, and it's the same bike rack. So with this, this has a, a, a weight rating of 100 pounds. So one thing to keep in mind is if you have, you know, kind of those heavier e-bikes and whatnot, you may want to consider an aftermarket hitch mounted receiver just you know, as you're going down the road, you know, doing 50, 60 miles per hour and you hit a, you know, a nice bump or a hill on the road, whatever weight you have on here is going to temporarily uh, get multiplied by quite a bit. So last thing you want to do is potentially damage your door. But if you just have your regular standard bicycles on here, um, this is going to hold two bikes, does a fantastic job. Um, we also have seen, you know, in our Facebook groups and whatnot, a lot of owners, even if they don't utilize it for bikes, will you know, kind of configure it to hold a Blackstone grill um, or an additional storage unit. So you do have a lot of options, even if you don't plan on biking. Um, but to use this, this is currently set up in kind of a transport mode. So it's all bundled up really tight, not made to carry anything. So to, to bring it down and to utilize it as a bike, all you're gonna do to take it out of the transport mode is take this piece off here. And this pops out. I'm just gonna drop this down a little bit to free this up. Place this back in. Keep these up here. So it's held together with these two side clips. Pop these off and then it just drops down. So this is how a lot of people use it for, you know, to add like a storage bin um, or a Blackstone griddle. These pieces that hold your tires are removable Put a flat piece right here in your Blackstone griddle. It's really, really nice. You can run it to your propane quick connect, which we'll go over here in a few minutes. To put a bike on here, all that you do is once it's dropped down, you loosen this up and this tray just slides over to the length of your bike and then you can tighten it back up. And then you simply set your bike right here. One tire straps in here and one tire straps in here. And then this longer one is gonna come to the outside and strap onto your top tube of your bike. The shorter one is for the inside bike. Very, very simple to use and folds up quite nice when you aren't utilizing it um, or bringing anything with you. To fold it up, simply lift and reattach your clips. Now, all Coachman Beyonds also come standard with a hitch-mounted receiver. Um, this hitch is going to be rated at over 7,000 pounds. However, after you factor in your Coachman build-out and all of your gear and you know travelers uh, traveling in the van, on average, you're going to average right about 4,000 to 4,200 pounds or so of actual towing capacity um, that you can bring with you. So if you wanted to tow you know, a really small vehicle or a small trailer or anything like that, absolutely uh, can be done. Um, uh, if you wanna know your true tow rating though, um, as always, once you're finally loaded up, go to a weigh station and then do your math from there. You never wanna exceed your, uh, your overall combined capacity for the vehicle. Okay. Next up back here, you'll notice these little circle dots all the way along the rear bumper. Um, those are gonna be your rear parking sensors. You're gonna have them on the front bumper as well. And what those do, those actually, as you're parking or in your, when you're in reverse, um, part of your navigation screen that's up there is going to show, you know, as you're getting close to other objects or other vehicles. Absolutely fantastic for when you're trying to park a van in all of your, you know, tight camping spots or urban areas or, you know, the tight places off the you know, side of highways and truck stops really allows you to get in there, uh, make sure you don't accidentally hit your vehicle on anything. So I'm gonna open these doors up, kind of highlight the back. So the doors are kind of two stage. Um, they kind of stay in this area too. And if you wanted to swing them open further, you have an additional handle here. So you simply pull and then it can swing all the way around. And then, like I said, attaches to one of those magnets that we went over just a moment ago. Um, one thing to consider with this door, when you do have the bike rack equipped onto here, your bike rack, you wanna be cautious of putting all the way around, that way you don't damage the side of your coach. So I'm gonna bring this back here. This just feeds right back into there. Then you're good to go. So all of your Fords are also gonna come standard with the full Ford 360 safety suite, which includes Ford's backup camera. Very, very good quality um, HD uh, color picture. Um, also back here, this applies, keep in mind, this is the 22C. These right here, 
are gonna be your blackout shades. These are the optional upgraded uh, thermal insulated blackout shades. These are how you uh, cover up and black out your, your front captain's windows as well as your front windshield. Um, if you click the link below, um, you'll be able to see a video of how these go in and installed in the coach. These are gonna be optional on all three of our van lines. They're all custom cut and fit specific to that chassis and really get a nice tight magnetic uh, fit right to the door into the windshield to really uh, uh, you know, kind of keep the heat out as well as um, you know, keeping any light intrusion coming in. So I'm gonna lift this up and kind of show you what's underneath here. So inside of here, it's gonna come standard with a hose. All coaches are gonna have one of these, and if you follow me to around the side of the coach, it goes into here. So this is a spray port. This is gonna pull water directly from your fresh tank, so it's not gonna run it through the water heater or anything, but this is fantastic for hosing off any gear. Um, if you're at the beach surfing, you know, hosing off all of your stuff, getting the sand, washing pets, that sort of thing. So it's really easy. It's a little pers uh, push connect, stick that in there just like that, and then you can access, spray your water. To get it off, simply push it in again, comes right on off. One thing to keep in mind is when you wanna utilize that, make sure you have your water pump on, otherwise the water won't come out. So conveniently, right back here, you have a water pump switch. Simply just flip this switch to turn it on. You can also access that through any of the two Firefly touch screens on the inside of the coach which we'll highlight here once we get on the inside. Okay, now also on the 22C, um, directly underneath your power sofa on the lithium versions is gonna be where your 630 amp hour lithium battery is gonna be located. Um, that's gonna be above the insulated floor where it's protected from the elements. Um, one of the really nice features though, is even though it's on the inside of the coach where it's protected from the elements, this is also the first battery that's out there, first lithium battery that has an internal built-in heater directly inside of the battery. So if you're ever gonna store your coach in the cold weather or anything like that, your battery's totally safe in any climate. Um, on the non-lithium variants of the 22C, uh, your fresh water tank is actually gonna be located on the inside uh, where it's protected from the elements because your generator would be um, up underneath the coach behind the rear axle. In this case with lithium, that's where your fresh water tank is. Um, in any case though, when you do have that fresh tank on the outside, um, it does come fully heated. Um, that's with uh, 12 volt heating pads and all of that's gonna be rated down to about five degrees Fahrenheit. So um, really, really good uh, for your cold weather camping or four seasons. Um, lastly, here at the rear of the coach, um, they're always stored brand new up in these little cubbies or the different floor plans kind of have a different layout, but you'll find these. These are gonna be your blackout shades for here in the rear of the coach. Um, so these act the exact same uh, for the other brands that we do as well. Um, but they're very simple. You simply just attach them to these heavy duty Velcro points right here and they help completely black out the door. So you're gonna have one for each of them. Once we get on the inside of the coach, I'll explain how you black, black out your side windows because those have integrated Remy shades um, and screens. Very, very nice windows. Okay, so right over here, I wanna highlight a few features on the Beyond. Um, so this is really, really nice. This is something that we took from uh, just owners and feedback out there. Um, this is something similar that we do to, on the Galleria, but this is gonna give you a nice clean compartment for your city connections uh, or for your utility connections. So this first one here is gonna be a fresh water connection. This is gonna be where you fill your fresh water tank. Simply hook up a hose and fill up that fresh water. This next one over here is gonna be a black tank flush. A black tank flush is a really, really nice feature to have on your coach. If you kind of think of it as just like a, a really big shower head on the inside of your black tank, as you're emptying your tanks, simply hook a hose up to that and it's gonna spray all the inside uh, nooks and crannies of your black tank and really help flush everything out, uh, out and get it nice and clean. Lastly, this is gonna be your city water connection. City water connection is gonna be, if you're ever at a campground or at your home where you have a city water supply that you can tap into, that's where you'd plug it in and then it's gonna bypass all of your fresh water tank uh, and go directly to your hot water system and to the uh, faucets without filling that fresh. Um, lastly, underneath your black tank flush is gonna be a cable import. Um, cable imports are really, really nice. Um, if you're ever at a campground or at home where you have access to 
um, you know, campsite cable or a cable service. You simply plug that in and you'll be able to access uh, whatever channels that that um, uh, cable network has to offer right on your TVs on the inside of the coach. Next to that, this is gonna be your shore power cable. So really, really nice to have. This is the brand new smart plug. What this is, this is the brand new uh, smart cable. So it comes with a cap right on it, but instead of going and twisting on, this is much, much more simple for the end user. And then also gives you much better contact surface area um, for your pin connections. It's actually about 27% more contact area. So it's gonna run at a much cooler temperature and give you much better uh, connectivity to your van. So simply install it, this clips right on in. The pod is positive con latching connection, so it's not gonna pull out. And then right on top of here, you have a little light that's gonna indicate to make sure that A, the cord's actually getting power from your source. And then it's also gonna light up uh, uh, red if you have a reverse polarity situation. So that way you don't damage all, any of your high-end electronic components on the inside. But this is fantastic. It's really, really nice because it's weatherproof as well. Um, this is what's used on all your major high-end yachts. Um, doesn't allow water uh, or anything to intrude into there, which is gonna cause corrosion. Also, the lid locks in there too, helping keep that water out of there. Very, very nice feature. To take it out, you simply squeeze these two, pulls right on out. Very easy, very, very nice. So again, this is a smart plug, um, which is standard on all Coachman Class B vans now. Now, just below here, you have a little tube on the bottom. This tube here is where you're going to store your sewage hose. Um, really nice feature because, unfortunately, in a van, uh, you don't have a whole lot of exterior storage. So, you know, you, you kind of have to revert to creative ways of uh, storing your sewage hose. Last place you want to keep it's on the inside of the coach. So this gives you a nice tucked away area um, that keeps everything else clean. Um, it just goes in there nicely. Right next to that you have a little steel box. This steel box, you simply just spin this dial and this is gonna drop down. This is where you fill your onboard propane. So onboard propane is gonna be standard on all of our vans and it's a really, really nice feature. Um, it's gonna be your propane that if you choose the optional LP cooktop on the inside, that would run off of it. And then also your Truma system can either run off of electricity or LP gas or a combination of the two. Aside from that, the LP on board uh, really isn't necessary unless you want to tap into this right here. This is an LP quick connect. So if you brought a, a Blackstone grill um, or a barbecue or anything like that, instead of lugging around one of those big white cans, um, you can just tap into your, your onboard propane um, and just have a little lead and have your grill over in your campsite. Really nice feature. Um, also on here is an LP on and off switch. Now, to, due to Department of Transportation and various codes, you have to have propane on and off switches on the exterior of the coach in case you're ever traveling through somewhere where you have to turn off your propane, you know, like the Holland Tunnel going into, uh, in and out of New York. So this allows inspectors, if needed, to be able to flip that propane on and off. Once we get on the inside of the coach, there's an additional switch for your propane um, that you can access as well. One thing to note, is that both have to be on. This one has to be on as well as the interior in order for the propane to work. If just your interior is on or just this one's on, your propane will not work. So, and that'll cause an error code a lot of times on your Truma screen. It's just simply because it's not getting any propane. So um, if you're ever having those issues and you're trying to troubleshoot, simply just go to both of your switches and make sure that they're both on. All right, moving on further down from the coach, this right here is gonna be a solar quick connect port. So the Coachman Nova and then the Coachman Beyond are going to come standard with two 110 watt solar panels up on the roof for a total of 220 watts. The Galleria is much is a little bit longer, so you have more real estate. So those have 330 watts up there. But for the Beyond, the 220 watts of solar up on the roof, the onboard controller can actually handle more than that, though. So you can handle about 450 watts of solar total. So what a lot of people do in the van life is they want to take advantage of parking in the shade to help with their you know, efficiency of their air conditioner and whatnot. So once you park in the shade, you unfortunately lose out on any solar that's gonna be up on the roof, no matter how much you have up there. So by having the port on the side of the coach, it's really, really nice. You take advantage of parking in the shade and then get it like a portable briefcase panel is what they're referred to, anywhere from 100 to 200 watts. Get one of those on say a 30 foot lead. You can plug that in and go throw your solar panel out in the sun 
Um, that way you're kind of having the best of both worlds. The solar that's on these coaches, you know, a lot of people have this misconception that, you know, you're going to be able to run your microwave or your air conditioner off of solar. You know, unfortunately, solar, it, it takes a whole lot of solar in order to, to accumulate that amount of power to run those, uh, you know, types of systems. What this is going to do is basically solar in the RV industry acts as a trickle charge for the house batteries. Um, in here, we'll go over our refrigerator. All of our vans have a 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator, which is going to run hardline off of either the AGM battery in a non lithium coach or the lithium battery in a lithium coach. Either way, those 12 volt compressor fridges are very, very efficient. They're only going to draw anywhere from about five to seven amps. Now, with your solar up on the roof, or if you combine that with some solar in your quick connect panel, um, depending on the intensity of your sun and your location, um, you're really going to more or less offset the draw of that refrigerator. So whether you have a lithium coach or a non-lithium coach, your refrigerator is going to stay nice and cold for days. So really, really nice to have that ability to expand upon your solar. That way you can always keep a good trickle charge going in. Next to that is that spray port that we went over just a little bit ago. Lastly on this side is going to be your sewer drain station. So this is where you're gonna drain uh, your black and gray tanks. Very straightforward. You simply just hook up a hose and then adjust your valves. If you click the link below, we'll be able to take you to a video that explains how to uh, dump your tanks in a little bit more detail. So lastly, coming around here, all of our Fords are kind of come standard with the digital keypad here. So if you ever wanna go hiking or you know, off into the beach to go surfing, places where you don't wanna lug around your keys with you, you can leave your keys in the vehicle, enter your code and have your vehicle fully locked up. And then when you return, you simply enter your code and it's gonna unlock the vehicle. Um, all of these come uh, standard from Ford with their own individual codes, which you'll find either in your glove box with the Ford manuals or in your coachman bag that has all of the manuals in it. Kind of looks like a little business card and it has that code on there. You can either choose to keep that code or it also explains how to uh, program your own individual code um, if you want to personalize it at another date. So opening these doors up, get this stuff out of the way, it's a seat cover. This right here is gonna be your fill for your gas tank. Again, this is just a gas engine, so you can run, uh, Ford recommends a minimum of 87 octane, but you can use premium octane if you choose to, anywhere from 93 octane here in the Midwest and East Coast, uh, or your 91 out on the West Coast. Um, you're not gonna throw any codes or anything like that if you use 87, um, but by using premium, you're really gonna maximize the, the potential of the engine in here. These Ford EcoBoost uh, engines are absolutely fabulous. So when you have um, you know, the better fuel in there, you're first of all gonna get a little bit better fuel economy, which is gonna basically make up for that you know, additional cost uh, you know, for the premium fuel, uh, but it's also gonna maximize your power and your torque um, and the performance out of the vehicle in general. So moving to the front, again, these are those sensors that I explained in the rear of the coach. These are your front parking sensors. Really, really help with parking in your tight, uh, tight fitting situations. Fog lights, standard throughout now on the, on the Fords, very nice. Front camera system as well. This has the Copilot 360 system, so it has a front and rear camera. Um, a lot of people ask about, you know, do these uh, have the bird's eye view? Um, unfortunately, no. So this applies to Ford as well as Mercedes. Anytime you have a dually rear end chassis, that's where they have four wheels that are across the back. Um, they unfortunately, for whatever reason, don't have that bird's eye view um, camera look. This does have front and rear view. Um, so you can see pretty much all the way around the coach though. Um, so it's not really much of a disadvantage or anything like that. So coming around here, we'll kind of go on the inside of the coach and highlight all the systems and how to use them. So before we go in, I want to highlight really, really nice one piece fiberglass running board. It's going to give you a really sturdy platform for getting on the in and outside of the coach. Two really large grab handles make it really easy for getting on the inside of the coach as well. Sliding screen door. You also have one in the rear of the coach that you can pull down. Gives you great cross ventilation without letting any bugs in. So if you have this one open as well as that rear one, awesome airflow going through there.